Just though, briefly, before I move on, Donald Trump apparently going to run uh, for the president. Good idea or not? It's a really bad idea because, on the one hand, first of all, he's destroying the Republican Party. I think the Republicans would have done much better if Trump hadn't intervened. And now, basically, he's on this ego trip where, where he wants to maintain and preserve his legacy. And I think what's really bad about him is that somehow his own narcissistic uh, desires are essentially trumping everything that his party stands for. So I think it's bad for democracy, it's bad for the Republican Party. And should he do well, it would be bad for anybody who's got the slightest populist leanings throughout the world. Where do you stand on that, Trump? Just very briefly, I think if Trump were to, to get the nomination to be the Republican nominee to take on Biden, it looks like it's going to be Biden. I wish it wasn't Biden. It's a massive country in America. I wish they could find someone better than Biden to fly the flag for the Democrats. But if Trump does win that nomination, at this stage it seems unlikely. I'd say DeSantis is a, a much more likely n nominee. It would be a massive, a further massive indictment on the Republican Party. Because what does Trump stand for? He stands for inciting revolt. He stands for in, in, inciting rebellion. He stands against democracy. He cannot accept his own defeat. He stands for everything that America at its best should not stand for. But and I think it would be a second. disaster. Hang on, because even on my little chair here, I can hear people yelling at my screen. You're saying he stands for anti-democracy, uh, anti this, that and the other. Many people will say, actually, he stood for strong domestic care. So what he wanted was the best for his country. And I know, I know my dear viewers at home, I know that you will believe uh, in lots of that, this whole notion of make America uh, great again, prioritise domestic issues, prioritise your country first. A lot of people want that. But he, Michelle, he was really good to begin with. Hey, don't all shout at me, because that's bullying. He was really good to begin with because he shook up politics. But the trouble was that he is the prime example of an infantilized adult who be, you know, behaves like an angry child. Frank, I agree with you. Hallelujah, I agree Whoa. with you on that. But, Michelle, there? just on your point, it's an important point. You, you can legitimately support some of what Trump stood for. Well, you can support any of it if you want. But you can believe at the same time that Donald Trump sh was right to stand for a strong America. You can believe in the idea of making America great again, although he now has added the word glorious. He wants to make America great and glorious again. You can believe all that. At the same time, feel sick in your stomach that a president, a now former president of the United States, cannot accept the clear democratic result of an election. You can believe in America coming first... But if America is going to come first, don't deny the results of democracy. Yeah, and I'll tell you what else you can't deny anyway. Uh, just how much of um, pressure was uh, against Donald Trump before it even began, by the way. There were people desperately uh, trying to dig up debt, desperately trying to stop him, that didn't want him to be president in the first place and had half a job, even accepting the fact that he was. But, Michelle, it wasn't uh, very difficult. He said himself, it was recorded, saying himself that he would... He wouldn't ask, and he would grab women by, I won't say the word, grab women by the private parts. Well, this, is, no, this, this man is monstrous. But I'm going to say something now that is a little bit controversial, and as a woman myself, I probably shouldn't say, but uh, when he said that comment, and we won't repeat it at tea time because there's kids watching, but we all know what that comment was, he was probably very factually accurate because the sad reality of the society and, and country and life and world that we live in is that there are a lot of women out there that if a rich, powerful man uh, is in the vicinity, they would let him Michelle, do whether, whatever whether, whether, whether or not you're right. Wanted. Okay, whether so you're I not. Am right. Whether I you're am not. Right. If, let's assume for a second you're right. Do you want someone who takes advantage of those situations, being president of the biggest democracy in the world? Well, I, I think uh, when I vote for a president, I don't care about his personal behaviour. To be honest, I care about. Well, what even he does. if he sexually assaults women, Frank? When I go and, uh, and vote, I listen to the policies. Even if he sexually assaults women? I don't know what he... He's done. obviously got privileged information about his behaviour that I don't have. So these are allegations, but, and he allegations, himself said he grabs women me, by their private just, parts. Let, let me just finish for once, without you interrupting. It seems to me that uh, uh, in, in, in Trump's defence, there's one point that people easily forget, which is that the Democrats were also guilty of denying elections in the past. So it's become quite common so for the Democratic Party to call into question when Republicans get elected. And that happened when you know, Bush got elected, and that, ha that also happened when Trump got elected, that people were saying that Trump stole the election. So we've got to be a bit careful of not being one-sided and seeing Trump as the personification of evil and the Democrats are being the, the Democrats. Well, there you go. You've heard their thoughts. Let me know yours. Um, on this whole bullying thing, Graham says, what a load of nonsense. Your guests are basically saying that your boss can't tell you to do your job. 
ridiculous, you say. But Elizabeth says, I don't think shouting at someone in the workplace achieves any better outcomes for either party. No. She says, it achieves nothing. She was a manager and has never bullied or shouted to get...